So we are going to do the finite and infinite products of one plus one plus i over two to the power of two to the k, where i is the square root of negative one. Now, if you haven't watched my video on the infinite product expansion of one over one minus x, I've linked that in the description because that's the formula that we're going to use to evaluate this product. There's actually a nice representation of this finite product in terms of the value inside of this exponent here, one plus i over two. We can write this as one minus one plus i over two to the power of two to the n plus one over one minus that same input, one plus i over two. And our job now is just to simplify this so that we get a nice answer as a result. First of all, let's take a look at this denominator here because we see some complex numbers on the denominator. We generally want those to be in the numerator. So if we look at the bottom here, one minus one plus i over two, we can look at the real and imaginary parts. One minus one half for our real part is just going to be one half. And then we have minus i over two. And if we want to make this a real number so that our denominator is entirely real, we can multiply it by the complex conjugate of one minus i, which is one plus i. Then we just have to make sure that we do the same thing in the numerator. If we do out this multiplication, one minus i times one plus i, that's a difference of squares, we're gonna get one minus i squared. i squared is negative one, so this is going to be one minus negative one over two. One minus negative one is the same as one plus one, so that's two over two, which is just one. So our denominator becomes one, which means we don't have to worry about it at all. We just have what's in the numerator here. Now let's take a look at this term right here. One plus i over two to the power of two to the n plus one. We can actually simplify this a little bit. And the way that we do that is by taking a few factors out of two to the power of n plus one. So we know one plus i over two to the power of two to the n plus one, that's the same thing as one plus i over two to the power of two times two to the n. When we multiply these two, we'll get two to the n plus one. But we can also write this as one plus i over two squared and then to the power of two to the n. When we look at this inside, one plus i over two squared is going to be one plus i times one plus i on the top, and then divided by two squared is four. If we foil out this numerator here, we're gonna get one plus i plus i plus i squared. And that simplifies, one plus i squared is zero, so we just have two i on the top. That means this whole fraction is just two i over four, or in other words, i over two. So we can write this original expression here as i over two to the power of two to the n. So if we take this simplified expression here and plug it into our formula, we get the finite product p sub n as one minus i over two to the power of two to the n times one plus i. And we can actually do this exact same process two more times. If we think about taking out another factor of two, so that we have two to the n minus one, and then we do it again, so we have two to the n minus two, that will leave us on the inside with just positive one eighth, a nice real number. And so this is just one minus one eighth to the power of two to the n minus two times one plus i. That's our finite product. And then if we wanna think about the infinite product, if we take the limit as n approaches infinity, one eighth is clearly going to be less than one. So as we raise it to higher and higher powers as we increase n, this term here is just gonna to go to zero. And so all we're left with is one times one plus i. And that is our solution for the infinite product.